Here comes trouble. He's tired of it. <laughs> He's coming it up for the camera. Good morning guys and welcome to this edition of High Clubpedia. Today we are outside of Taipei in a place called Nuan Nuan and we've got the gang back together. The reluctant hiker is here and Andrew again and today we are going to first catch a train around this old train line to a place called Shifan and then we are going to walk back over the hills along one of the Dan Shui Kavalan old trails. There's three trails that lead from the coast in Elan over the mountains uh, into like the uh, area around Geelong and then there's one that leads into the Taipei area. We're taking the central trail um, and we're going to take it from Shifan over the hills back to our starting position here at Nuan Nuan station. Should be fun although the weather is not too great today. We might get a little bit of rain but I've got my umbrella so we'll be okay. So how does it feel to be back on the trail? It's been a while. I'm, I'm worried. Why? I haven't done this. It's, it's, it's a long hike. It's not. It's I got six, tired going up the miles. stairs. I got tired on that little bridge. It's only bridge. six miles. Six, five miles too long for me. All right, so I read that after the mining museum, it goes up quite steep, and then obviously it's downhill all the way back to here. Yeah, but the difficulty level I read is not so difficult. Two out of ten. Two out of yeah. ten. Yeah, that's why I invited him to come with oh. us. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes till the train arrives. Let's see if it's on time. Oh, nice. How much this place? Gosh, did you have to show wow. it to people? Wow. It's actually a minute late now. Spoke too soon. Our driver looks very young. I hope he's okay. Do we need to do it ourselves or what? Ah, here we go. Whoa, tra carriage to ourselves. Burning brakes, jeez. And here we are. Our home for the next 30 minutes. Okay, so we're here in Shifen and now we've just got to find the start of the trail. It's kind of weird being here during the week because if you come down here on a holiday or a weekend this place is so so busy but it's actually completely dead today. I guess it's also maybe a little bit to do with the, uh, the virus controls as well. But I hate cilantro. You want some pig's guts? Huh? Look, that's what I want. That's okay. Now we know what horn is like. Um, Shifun along with Pingxi, which is a bit further down the line, is very famous in Taiwan and also internationally because um, every new year they have a big launch of um, the Sky Lanterns. Um, I've done it here before uh, when we were with some friends and yeah it's a lot of fun. So if you're ever in the region you should come down and you can do a Sky Lantern launch although I'm not sure whether they're doing them today. Houston, we have a problem. 
the start of the trail is all blocked off because they're reconstructing this um, coal mining museum so we're having a bit of trouble finding the beginning of the path I was well, shaking my head. this is turning into an eventful walk. Um, apparently, that wasn't the trail for this tour. But I got a pomelo, so uh, I'm going to try and eat this a bit later on. You know, his granddad was a revolutionary. In I reckon we should go down there. Okay, let's go check it out. Right, I got it open. Let's try. It's okay. Mm. Free fruit. It's got a strong taste. Good. It's quite juicy, actually. Very juicy, yeah. Mmm. Beautiful table manners. I don't like seeing people eat on camera. We're definitely on the right track now. Celebration time. Because we found somebody that actually knows. That's why. If not, we'd be doubling back again. We're five kilometers in. Five kilometers already. This is a children's show, so I will not say the words that are going through my head. This one, you love this. Look at that moth. The stairway to heaven. That's what it feels like anyway. <laughs> oh. Starting from the mining museum, it's basically up, up and up for about uh, around a kilometre. I think we're almost at the crest now, which is about 500 meters, but it's pretty tough going and it's not even hot today. I can't imagine what it would be like if it was like 35 degrees. Wow, killer. OMG. This is relentless. Heading on down this way now towards Nuan Nuan. Ah, there's a lot of honeybees around here that have been bugging us while we've been eating lunch and it's rather annoying, especially given my traumatic recent experience. So we're heading down now. These blueberry trees, they're not blueberry trees, but they've got blueberries. They're everywhere. I've got to find out what they are. Are they poisonous or not? I'm not going to try it. You try it. It can't be worse. Who wants to be a guinea pig? It can't be worse than that pomelo you had. 
We just saw the um, giant centipede, which I was really happy about because all the time I was in Singapore, I never saw one, and that's a good place to see them. So to see one here in Taiwan is uh, even better, I think. But a uh, good spot by Hugo, because me and Andrew both walked straight past it. kind of a varied trail we've gone from an industrial road now we're going through the land of a farm a leisure farm uh, so there's a lot of variation and quite a few areas where you're not too sure if you're going the right way or not but usually there's a sign or there's somebody you can ask so uh, yeah we're back on the trail again now look there's there's one of the signs so if you see one of those signs then you know you're on the right track Oh, fun time! We've got to go across the river. Time to take your shoes and socks off, I think. Okay, so far it's nice, you know, the cold is nice. <laughs> so far it's not, um, it's not too slippery, it's not too strong. Starting to get a little bit cold now. Keep on the high stone so you don't get just like turned down. Here we go. Woo, that's cold. Oh, it's freezing. Ah, uh, it's not too bad actually. Woo. Oh, that was actually quite fun. Let's see if the river can claim its first casualty. <laughs> hey, hold on the rope. Hold the rope, you muppet. Those two are waiting for their feet to dry out before they put the socks back on. I don't care. I'm just putting my socks back on. Now. Good job it's not the great race otherwise I'd be uh, I'd be winning by now. Wow. Come on! Yeah. I'm done! Let's go! <laughs> hey, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah. What? Ferrero Rocher? Oh, I like those, the pineapple lemon crackers. Pineapple crackers? Yeah, they're good. But that's for my right now. We've just entered the Nuandong Valley, and uh, there's a huge cliff face just here. It's really cool. I've not seen anything like it before. And, um, and then there's a beautiful 
river here with big stones. It's really nice. It's quite impressive, isn't it? Like a gorge. It's gorgeous. I'm really enjoying this walk. It's kind of really varied and uh, really interesting. And the temperature today is just perfect. This section of the trail is pretty interesting. See this like cave here? And there's um, a bunch of urns full of the ashes or bones of um, people who died years and years ago and their bodies were dug up and reinterred in the urns ready to take back to their ancestral home. But because they never went back, they just left the urns here. And um, I read online that the um, when they renovated this walking path they were thinking about moving them but they decided to leave them here for their educational value to teach people about the old traditions of um, digging up the bones and reinterring them so it's pretty interesting just to see something like this lying along the side of a walking path but it's pretty cool as well oh, there's nowhere else to walk is there all right guys i think we've come to the end of the actual trail the last few although we're not back to nuan nuan station yet there's still another couple of kilometers i think and we're just debating whether to walk or whether to catch a bus la popo camping ground for french police all right so we were running a bit late so we decided to catch the bus the last couple of kilometers you can walk down the road here as well if you want but honestly there's not much to see now it's just a road All right, guys, so we finished the hike. We're back here at Nuan Nuan Station. How was it for you? Wonderful. A lot of fun. Wonderful. Not a bad day hike. I'll leave Quite those good. two to it now. All right, so after a confusing start, we finally found the trail and it was really nice. It was a lot of varied terrain, you know, a stream crossing, some wildlife, some history with all those urns. And uh, the valley was absolutely stunning. Uh, so yeah, it was a good day all in all. We did around 8.5 kilometers with a little bus ride at the end and it took us about four hours. Uh, it's a very easily accessible day hike from Taipei because you can either start at Nuan Nuan, walk over to Shifun and then come back or you can catch the train right to Shifun then walk back over to Nuan Nuan and it's, it's as I said, easily done in a day. So yeah really nice walk really enjoyed it and if you did then please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe also and if you're really keen you can always hit that bell for notifications and you'll get a little notification every saturday morning when i release a new video in the meantime thanks again to everybody who got me a coffee if you would like a hyclopedia patch buy me three or more coffees and I'll get in touch and ask you whether you want a patch and if you say yes then I'll whisk one over to you wherever you are in the world all right guys that's it now for today take it easy I'll see you next time over and out okay guys so as Andrew is a vegetarian and Hugo is just a fussy bugger as you can imagine finding somewhere where we can all eat is a bit difficult so I've ditched those two and I've come into deepest, darkest Nuan Nuan to get some food. So uh, let's go check it out. I forgot to scan Cardinal C.
吃。哎，谢谢。嗯。哇 ，That was really nice. I love a bit of Luro Fan, but with the the pidan added to it, just adds an extra bit of flavour. And、um, I've been in a kimchi mood recently. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's cooler. The weather's not so nice, but that's the first time I've ever had the yellow kimchi. It was a little bit spicier than normal, but it was also really good. So like, that was like super filling. Huge bowl of rice. Nice side dish. Kimchi. Full belly. Ninety-five NT dollars. You cannot go wrong.